what's up what's up you guys today we're going to be doing my southern style cabbage with smoked turkey necks i absolutely love this recipe and it is a family favorite so come on in stay tuned get comfortable y'all and let's make some southern style comfort food Alright, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and clean off all of our veggies. I'm going to use hot, hot water because that's how I clean mine off. But you guys obviously use what method works best for you. If I have time, I'll soak them in some vinegar and, you know, get real fancy. But I didn't really have time at this point and I just needed to get them cleaned real quick. So I'm just peeling off the sticker from the store and just kind of letting them sit under my sprayer with super hot water. Um, you know, we're going to get all the little germs and the little buggers off of there, um, with just some hot, hot water. And yeah, once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and get them to the board and get them cut up. I'm also going to use the same method for my cabbage. I'm going to take off the first couple of leaves, um, off the outside and kind of get them all rinsed off and get them prepared for cutting as well. Your heart, keep it in your pocket for safekeeping Don't ever let nobody be the reason You throw it out, you stop caring about it Don't let your head get in the way Can't be defined by your mistakes You know you try and you try really hard But sometimes you fall You sometimes you fall So now we're on to the cutting board. I'm going to go ahead and get these cabbages broken down. I'm going to start off by smashing them and take some of my anger out so I can get on them and kind of getting that heart loose. And then I'm just going to go in and kind of like just carve it, carve it out all the way with my knife. And then I'm just going to break them down, chop them up. Um, you know, you guys can make them whatever size you want, but I just kind of do like a rough chop on them And then I'm gonna go ahead and kind of do the same thing with my bell peppers I'm gonna also do some onion which you won't see me cut on screen But I did do some yellow onion as well And then we're gonna go ahead and get these babies over to some pans so that we can bake them. All right Precious cargo Be careful with my heart. Oh Say I'm not sensitive can sense a fit right for me Don't let your head get in the way Can't be defined by your mistakes You know you try and you try really hard But sometimes you fall You yeah, sometimes you fall Alright y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and put this into a baking pan and this is, so just to be clear, this is two heads of cabbage and about what, four or five bell peppers of different color and about two yellow onions, okay? Now your girl tried to put it all in one large baking pan, I don't know what I was thinking, you know, it was like it's going to cook down because you know cabbage and these leafy vegetables, they always bake down and they're not as much as it seems, you know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah, it didn't work out that way, I ended up putting it into two pans, but I went ahead and seasoned it up with my garlic pepper, black pepper, and my garlic and herb Mrs. Dash. Once I get these 
into two separate pans you guys will see me put in some one large family size container of chicken broth i love adding chicken broth to my greens as well as my cabbage because it just gives it a really really good flavor y'all that's how i get that really good southern style flavor also um when I'm not doing it like this, I will add a little bit of soy sauce. That's a, one of my secret ingredients. I love soy sauce with cabbage. It just does something to it, honey, to just mm, make you want to mm, 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 mm. So good. But this time, instead of doing that, I'm just going to add the chicken broth. And um, then I'm going to add in my smoked turkey necks. Now, if you want, you can boil these a little bit beforehand just so it doesn't take as long for the turkey to break down and start getting really juicy and fall off the bone. However, I'm gonna cook this low and slow. So I'm gonna just go ahead and, and rinse them off really good with some more really, really hot water. And then I'm gonna throw them in to my pans and just let them bake all the way through together until everything is nice and tender. So now I'm just going to cover these up with some foil, put them in the oven on 350 and let them do their thing until they get all married and juicy and everything is nice and tender. And when you start really smelling it, honey, that's when you know it's done. And when you see that pot looker get all nice and golden. Ooh, yes. This is the finished product out of the oven, you guys. We got the meat that's so juicy and tender. This is healthier than using pork as well. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. If you guys use turkey necks or legs in your greens or, or cabbage and how you guys make them at home if you make it differently than I do. Let me know, y'all, because I love to try some different ways to make this cabbage, baby. All right, and I will see y'all in the next video. Don't forget to hit a likely like for your girl because it's free and it don't cost you nothing. Until next time, y'all. Ooh, yeah. Keep it in here and lock it. Keep it in here, don't knock it Before you try being on your own side For once, for once Keep it in here and lock it Keep it in here, don't knock it Before you try being on your own side